Come and listen, listen to me, listen to my A B C, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. Come and learn a new sound. It tickles. You'll see. <laughs> yes, the sound that we're going to learn today actually tickles your lips when you say it. It's so funny. <laughs> we'll have a look at it in a minute. But just have a look at this game that we've got to play to practice, help us practice some of our sounds. So we're going to play a game. We're going to match the animals to the first sound of their name. So for example, we'll be looking for an animal that begins with this sound first. Mm. So let's have a look then. Let's see if we can find an animal here that begins with an mmm. Say so stop when you see it. Oh, yes, well done. There it is. Mmm for monkey. So what I'm going to do is use my pen to draw a line from the mmm to the monkey. Here we go. Oh. Let's have a look at the next letter. What's the next sound we have here? Well done, it's a s. So what can we spot that begins with a s? Tell me when to stop. Oh, well done, you said stop, it's a spider. So we need to draw a line from the s all the way down to the spider. There we go, so you can see how the s and the spider are now joined by the line. Let's have a look at the next one. Do you remember this letter? What's this sound? Well done, it's a j. J for, and it can't be j for elephant or j for kangaroo. We've done monkey. Oh, can you remember what that one was? What's that one? That's right, it's a j for jaguar. So let's draw a line from the j to the jaguar. There we go. Well done. Let's have a look at the next sound. What have we got here? Well done, it's a b. We've got the bat and the ball, b. So let's see, is there an animal that begins with a b here? Mm, b for, oh, b for butterfly. Well done. Let's join the b to the butterfly. Fantastic. Let's have a look. We've got two sounds left, I think. So let's have a look at this one. Brilliant. That's a k. K for what could it be? K for. Well done. It's k for kangaroo. So we've got to draw a line all the way from the k all the way up. There it is to the kangaroo. Brilliant. So the last sound we've got is, well done, it's an eh. Can you remember what animal we had here that began with an eh? Well done, it's right at the top there, isn't it? It's the elephant. So let's draw a line from the bottom all the way to the top. Eh, four, elephant, there we go. So all of our sounds now match the animal that they belong to. We had m for monkey, s for spider, j for jaguar, b for butterfly, k for kangaroo, and e for elephant. Well done, everybody. Fantastic job. I took a photograph of this game before we did it so that you could have a go at home after this session. 
See if you can remember which ones go together. Good job. Okay, we're going to practice our tricky words. But this time, I'm actually not going to say them at all. I'm going to get you to practice your tricky words on your own. So I'm going to show you them and then I'd love for you to tell me what they say. Are you ready? Here we go. Here goes this one. Brilliant. And this one. Fantastic. And this one. Good job. And this one. Brilliant. And then two more, ready? This one. Very good. I'm going to flip it round for this one. Fantastic. Well done. You are such stars. Really good. You did that all on your own. I'm going to have a go now to make sure I remember them too. So we had I, no, to, go, the, and I flipped it over, the, and. Well done, that was fantastic everybody. I'm really proud of you, you're such stars. So down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> I've made them look like stems, flower stems. <laughs> Could draw little flowers on the top of those. Oh. Looks like a little garden. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise you were there waiting for me. I was just practising some lines. I was going down and up and down and up and down and up. And when I finished, I thought they looked like stems. So I was putting little flowers on the top to make it look like a garden. <laughs> I'm sorry you were waiting for me. The reason I was practising those lines going down and up is that's the shape of our letter today. It goes down and up. And it's very straight and it's got a point at the bottom. I'll show you. So it goes like this. It goes down and up. That's it. So I was practicing down and up. I just needed to join them at the bottom with this very sharp, ouch, a very sharp point at the bottom. So this letter goes down and then up. Have you seen it before? Have you? Some of you may have it in your name. Like Evie has got a V in it. And that's our sound today. It's V. Remember I said our sound tickles? It does. You put your teeth on your lip to say this sound. V. And you push air through and it makes a vibration on your lip and it tickles. Should we try it? Ready? After me. One, two, three. V. <laughs> so tickly. <laughs> so my turn. V. Your turn. Well done. It's v. v for van. V for vest. You might have to wear when you're cold. It keeps you warm. Or you may wear it when it's hot. And that's all you wear, a vest. V for vase. A vase that I could put these flowers into. Can you think of any words that begin with V? Brilliant. Fantastic. Great words. So my turn. V. Your turn. I'm going to have a go at drawing it in a different colour now. My V. So v. here we go. I'm going to go down and up. I'm making sure I've got that really pointy bit at the bottom. You're going to have a go. Great job. So you go down and up and make sure you've got the pointy bit at the bottom. So ready? Down, up. Brilliant. So this is a V, v for van, V for vest, V for vase. 
You may also see this letter with a little flick at the end. Down, up and flick. This little flick is so that as you go through learning your sounds and as you go through school, you start to join up your letters. So this little flick will be something that you can join on to another letter. So if your school encourages you to have a go at this, then have a go. It's quite simple on this letter. So we go down, up and flick. Just a little flick at the end. So my turn, v, your turn. Well done. We're going to have a game. I've got a, a van, a very special van, that is only allowed to pick up certain objects. And I'd love for you to help us to find the specific objects that the van needs to pick up. I'll see you in a moment. I have a very important van here. It's got to make some pickups. It's a pickup van. It's got to pick up some objects, but it's only allowed to pick up the objects that begin with V. So this van is only allowed to pick up objects that begin with V. So let's take a drive around the city and see what we can find. There it goes. What are we going to find? Wow. What have we got here? So we've stopped at the shop and it's got to pick up something from the shop. We've got a pizza and a vase, a vase for flowers. So what do you think it would be able to pick up? Is it allowed to pick up the, the pizza or the vase? Remember, it's only allowed to pick up things that begin with a V. Well done. It's got to be the vase. So the vase is going in the van. Next stop, the village school. Okay, we're already there. Here's the school. And the van has got to pick up something beginning with V. Now, what could this be? If it's a T-shirt, it's not allowed to pick it up because T-shirt begins with T. But what is this? Yes, well done. It's a vest. So is the van allowed to pick up the vest? Yes, because vest begins with V. V-E-S-T. Vest. So the vest is going in the van. Next stop is the boating lake. Off we go. Shall we find the boating lake? Yes, here it is already. That wasn't very far to travel. Now there are two boats here. One of them is broken down and needs repairing. So the van has got to take it to the repair shop. But which one has it got to pick up? Remember, it's only allowed to pick up objects that begin with a V. So is it going to pick up the blue boat or the violet coloured boat? The blue boat or the violet coloured boat? Well done. It will pick up the violet coloured boat because violet begins with V. So that's going on the van. <laughs> Next stop is the bank. We'll reverse up and we've got to go off to the bank. There it goes. There's the bank. And then we go round the corner. I can see the bank coming up here. There we go. So there's the bank. Now the bank has got some money that needs picking up. Is the van allowed to pick up the money? No. Money begins with what sound? That's right. Money begins with mmm. So the van is not allowed to pick up the money. Sorry van, you'll have to leave that for somebody else. Next stop, 
the snack bar to see if there's anything that needs picking up there. If we go, make sure it's clear to go. Yep. And over you go. Well done, Van. Now I can see something that might need picking up there. Let's see if the van's allowed to pick it up. What can you see there? It's a burger. Is the van allowed to pick up the burger? No, you're right. What does burger begin with? B for burger. So the van is not allowed to pick up the burger. Never mind, van. You'll have to get something else for lunch. Next stop is the public library where there's a broken down vehicle. Off we go. It's only the next building along. Mm. So we've got two vehicles here. Which one is the van allowed to pick up? Is the van allowed to pick up the car? Or is it going to pick up the van? The minivan. Is it going to pick up the car? Or the broken down van? Yes, you're right. Is going to pick up the broken down van, van, because van begins with v. The car's going to have to wake up, wait for another recovery service. So let's pop the van in our van. There we go. Thank you, special pickup van. You picked up lots of items that began with a v, and made sure you left behind those that didn't begin with a v. So these are the items that our special van picked up. It picked up a vase. Vase, well done. It picked up a vest. Vest, well done. It picked up a violet boat. Boat, a violet boat. And it picked up a mini van. A mini van. Well done. There's a couple of items in the back of our van, our special pickup van. The delivery driver was making a list of some of the things that he picked up. Should we check? Because he made sure he picked them all up. Here we go. Get them out the back of the van. Let's have a look at this first one. Did he pick up this item? Did you get that? Should we try again? Did he pick that up? He did. Brilliant. What was it? Oh yes, it was the van. Van. He did pick up the minivan. That was good. So we can put that to one side. There's another one here once we've moved that one. Here we go, what's this one? Let's have a look. Did he pick this up? Have another go. I'm gonna have a go now. So, vest, vest. Did he pick up the vest? Oh yes, he picked up the vest from the school. That's good. There's one more here. have a look at this one. Did he pick this one up? Let's have a look. And have another go. Did you blend those together? My turn now. Vet. Vet. Oh, I don't seem to remember him picking up a vet. Do you? So, oh dear. The van didn't pick up the vet. So the driver better jump in the van and go and get the vet. Let's write him a message that says, jump in the van. Jump in the van. And then he'll know he's got to jump in the van to go and get the vet. So jump in the van. We're going to start with J. And that was our sound yesterday. J. So let's have a go. Going to go down, go 
a whirly flick and a dot. And to show you my picture from the last session, there we go. There's my j. So what do we need next for jump? J, um, p, j. We've done so. J, a. Uh. We need an a, uh, don't we? Well done. A uh, for umbrella. J, um, I can hear um for monkey. J, um, p. What can you hear at the end there? J, um, p. Well done. It's p, isn't it? Fantastic. Jump. I've finished jump. Have you finished jump? Should we share them? Okay, ready? Show me now. Let's have a look at jump. See if we've got the same. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well done. Fantastic job. So, j um, jump. Now we need to leave a gap because we're doing a new word. We're going to say in. Jump in. So we're going to write in. So finger space. In. Two letters, two sounds. In. E, n. I'm not going to show you that one because I think you'll be able to do that one. Brilliant. So jump in. We're going to leave another gap now for another word. The. Remember our tricky word, the. I'll show you it. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to give you a flash of the. Did you see it? Well done. Let's have a go at the. Jump in the finger space, or if you're like me, I might, I've got to do my next word on the next line. So jump in the van. We're going to need our new sound for van, aren't we? V, v, an, v, a, v, an. You ready to show me? I'm ready to show you mine. Here we go then, show me now please. Here we go. Well done, so we've got j -ump. jump in, in, jump in, the, van, van, jump in the van. Well done, I'm gonna fold that up and Pop it along to the delivery driver so he can jump in the van and go and collect the vet. We better leave the van to it. The driver had better jump in the van and go and pick up the vet. See you soon, van. Thank you for your help.